Hi friends, uh, welcome to our new video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the generate and test search in artificial intelligence. So it is one of the heuristic search technique. Okay, and it uses the concept of what DFS with backtracking. Okay, DFS with backtracking. So you might be knowing the concept of DFS, right? That is in DFS, it, it will generate all the what it will generate all the possible uh, solutions and it will uh, uh, test for the best solutions and okay and it will find the best solution so in this technique uh, if we will generate all the possible solutions and it is and we will test for the best solution okay that is in generator it is one of the actually it is one of the simplest uh, algorithm that is used in artificial intelligence right so let's see the steps so uh, the generate and test generate and test means what here two modules are present what is one of the, one is the generator module and second is the word tester module right so what is the purpose of a generator right what is the purpose of a generator generator it will generate all the possible solutions okay so that is the first step right it will generate a, po a possible solution so generate a possible solution means uh, for some problem you might be uh, finding a particular point in the problem space that is you, you will have a problem space right so in that problem space you might be locating or you might be finding a particular point in the problem space or for or some other or for others you might be generating a path from the start state to the goal state likewise so you will generate all the possible solutions that is the purpose of a generator that is the first step and second step second step is the role of that is what is the role of a tester it will test to see if this is an actual solution or not okay if it is an actual that is we will have we will be having a chosen part and we will compare it with our goal state and let's see if it is matching or not okay and it uh, and let's see it it will be the best solution okay and we'll test uh, we will test uh, for the best solution we need a best solution right and we will test for the best solution okay and if it is found uh, we can quit otherwise we need to generate we need to go to what step one that is if solution found you can quit uh, otherwise go to step one that is what backtracking okay that is that is it uses the concept of dfs with backtracking if we not find a best solution uh, we will just backtrack okay uh, uh, the to the step one that is to the generator module so likewise the concept and uh, uh, generator and test module works right so uh, what should be the actually what should be the properties of a good generator what should be the properties first of all it should be a complete what it should be complete right the generator it should be what complete complete means what it should uh, it should generate uh, that it it should provides us a complete solution we not a partial solution we need not need a partial solution we need a complete solution so it should provides us a complete solution right so that is the first uh, property a property of a good generated good generator will provides us a complete solution okay then second property is that non redundant it should be a generator should be non redundant okay that is the second uh, property non redundant okay non redundant means what uh, that is uh, a generator should not provides us a duplicate solution a duplicate solution for uh, because what uh, by uh, uh, if so if so what will happen uh, the time the search time will increase okay search time will increase thereby what reducing the efficiency of the algorithm right so it should be it should pro it should not provides us a duplicate solution okay that is it should be non redundant and what is the third property third property is that it should be informed okay it should be informed informed means you might be knowing about informed search what is an informed search that it ha will have a uh, some will have some knowledge about the uh, problem space about the search space that's it so a uh, uh, generator should have some knowledge about the search space okay so that uh, it can find the uh, it can estimate the path uh, cost right path cost 
to the gold state right so that is the uh, main uh, the three important properties of a good generator it should be complete it should provides us a non redundant solution and third one it, it should be what informed okay let us consider an example for a good generator okay let us see uh, the let us consider an example uh, to understand the concept of a good generator okay just uh, you have to consider uh, a three two digit uh, three pin okay three pin that is of uh, two digit numbers okay that is three pin uh, made up of uh, two digit numbers that is so uh, in order to find the required pin um, you need to um, what you need to uh, generate all the possible uh, states okay so using brute force manner that is three two digit numbers okay three pin which is made up of two digit numbers so uh, what will be the uh, possible uh, combinations like uh, this uh, zero 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 okay then zero 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 one then zero 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 two likewise it goes that is three consider three pin that is made up of two digit numbers okay three pin that is made up of two digit numbers so how many uh, solutions are there here total number of solutions generated is here um, you can see uh, the in uh, how many so uh, so states are 0 to uh, 99 here also 0 to 99 here also 0 to 99 so total number of uh, solutions uh, that can be generated is what 100 raised to 3 right 100 raised to 3 okay so uh, if you are um, using uh, about uh, any uninformed search technique that is you don't have any uh, domain knowledge about the problem about the problem so it might result in it, uh, it it will result in what exponential time complexity right if you do if you do not if you do not use any informed search technique here it might it will uh, reduce it what it will result in exponential time complexity so uh, suppose you are you are going to generate five solutions okay in every minute right five solutions in every minute uh, so how many uh, how many uh, in one hour okay that is, so the total numbers that is generated in one hour will be what 5 into 60 that is 300 right uh, uh, for the uh, 10 raised to uh, the here the total number of possible solutions uh, generated is 100 raised to 3 that is uh, 100 raised to 3 that is 1 million 1 million uh, which is equal to what 10 lakhs right so if you are using uh, any uninformed search technique okay that is you don't have any domain knowledge regarding the problem so uh, uh, it, uh, i said uh, it will result in exponential time complexity so if you are going to generate five solutions in every minute so the total numbers that is generated in one hour will be what 5 into uh, 60 that is 300 okay 5 into 60 that is 300 uh, in one hour okay but the total number of solutions uh, to be generated is what 1 million that is 10 lakhs so if you are working if you are generating five solutions in every minute uh, every minute that uh, in one hour you will generate what 300 solutions okay so, but the total number of solution is 1 million okay so if you are using some uh, say a brute force uh, search technique that is linear search in linear search uh, the average time complexity is what n by 2 right in linear search the average time complexity is n by 2 so here how many uh, the here the total number of uh, possible solutions as uh, generated is what 5 lakhs that is 10 lakhs 1 million 10 lakhs that 10 by 2 that is 5 lakhs so 5 lakhs uh, uh, solutions uh, should be generated if you are using a uh, linear search okay so uh, and uh, uh, if you work for uh, 24 hours if you work for 24 hours a day using this technique that is using this uh, linear search if you work for uh, 24 hours a day you need what you need 10 weeks uh, to complete the task right 
that is if you are using linear search if you if you are using some brute force search technique like linear search that time uh, that average uh, possible number of solution is for 5 lakhs so if you work for that uh, you need uh, if you work for 24 hours a day uh, you, you need to uh, uh, work for 10 weeks uh, to complete the task right now just uh, now you consider uh, you using some heuristic function that is you have some domain knowledge that is you are per, you are uh, performing some informed search here you have some domain knowledge that is here you have the knowledge that uh, every number between that is 0 to 99 uh, between 0 to 99 is a prime number okay so between 0 to 99 there are 25 prime numbers so how many tot total number of possible solutions will be what 25 raised to uh, 25 raised to 3 okay which is equal to 15,000 okay which is equal to 15,000 that is you have some uh, knowledge you are using some heuristic function okay you have some knowledge that is you have the knowledge that every number between 0 to 99 is a prime number so you can generate the possible solutions how many prime numbers are there between 0 to 99 25 prime numbers so total number of uh, solutions that is generated is what 25 raised to 3 that is 15,000 okay 15000 so uh, you are generating um, suppose you are generating five sol five solutions in every minute and you are working for uh, 24 hours a day uh, how many uh, uh, just you need only uh, uh, approximately less than two days to complete the task to complete the, uh, to complete the task means to find a solution you just need uh, to uh, less than two days okay less than two days if you work uh, if you work for uh, five uh, if you are generating five hours in a minute okay in a minute and 20 you are working for 24 hours a day you can complete the task in less than two days if you are using informed search technique here that is you um, using some heuristic function okay which was being done in 10 weeks uh, uh, in case of what uninformed search if you are using some uninformed search you need to uh, you need 10 weeks so if you are using some inform you are using some heuristic function you just need less than two days see it see the difference okay so we can conclude that if we find a good heuristic okay good heuristic our time complexity can be reduced lesser the time complexity okay but in worst case both time and space complexity will be exponential so the uh, better the generator lesser the time complexity okay so that is about the generate and test as uh, uh, search in artificial intelligence it is one of the simplest uh, uh, technique that uh, simplest algorithm it uses heuristic search technique and it uses the concept of dfs with backtracking okay that's about the uh, uh, today's session and in the next video we'll be discussing hill climbing algorithm which is one of the most important topic in artificial intelligence thank you